Question 24. Escobar, an organic farmer in Colombia, has recently deployed a small Hyper-V failure cluster in a secondary location. Replication jobs have been configured and successfully completed. However, it appears the re-IP rules are not being executed. How should the re-IP rules be configured? So, good question. Lots of uh, text here, almost a wall of text, but uh, let's take a peek. So first we see a re-IP rule must be added for every virtual machine in the replication job. The source VM field is used to define the specific IP of a server in the production IP range. The target VM field defines the IP the server will be configured to use in the secondary location IP range. For example, source VM IP address 172.17.52.101 and target VM IP address 172.17.53.201. So some of this text here does, does seem to make sense, but there's something up here. So re-IP rule must be added for every virtual machine in the replication job. This is definitely not true. You can uh, use some asterisk. So this, this, I'm gonna discard this one just because this text is not correct. The source VM field is used to define the subnet of the production IP range. The target VM field defines the secondary location IP range. For example, source VM IP address 172.17.52 star and target 172.17.53 star. Yeah, so this one seems good to me. There's uh, potentially also some other fields we would want to adjust like default gateway, for example, but yeah, this, this seems good so far. Uh, see here, source VM field is used to define subnet production. It's okay, so it's quite similar. Target VM field defines the secondary IP address. Okay. For example, dot zero. So this is pretty much the same as this one up here, but it's using dot zero instead of dot star. This is not the correct format. So this is definitely incorrect. Then we have something similar here start of the private IP range and it defines the end. No, this is uh, this is not true, right? So so uh, source VM is, is the production IP uh, range and, and target is the, uh, the, the, well, target IP range. So on the uh, DR side, whatever side we're moving it to. So this is definitely incorrect. Uh, a re-IP rule only needs to be defined for a single VM in the replication job. Re-IP rules will be automatically generated for all other virtual machines. This is absolutely not 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 true at all. And then some some other text here. So this is uh, not true. Uh, the only one that uh, totally makes sense is this uh, item right here. And we could even go and take a quick peek in the user guide. Let's see here, application read IP. Okay, so if we go down here, we see some re IP rules, but there's uh, no specifics here. So let's go and take a peek instead. So step nine, configure VIP rules. And uh, there's some explanations up here. And there's also even a nice example here. So we can see that, yep, it would be the wildcard. And this is the source range and the target range with the wildcard. And then of course the default gateway and potentially if you need to change the DNS source, you could specify this as well. So we can then conclude that this must be the correct answer.